So as I think all of you heard, when I started my project, I was going to do something on Rotten Tomatoes where I would be constantly active on the site so that it would spam my Facebook and I would see after a couple weeks or so who hid me or who deleted me as a friend because of all the garbage that was hitting my newsfeed. But that didn't work out because my profile was all busted up on Rotten Tomatoes. So I decided to follow my sister's blog who is currently in Peru uh, volunteering for the Peace Corps. She her first blog on this, she's actually in Portland, getting ready, packing, at an independent bookstore, it says. And her first blogs in Peru started on June 11th, 2010, which is around a year and a half ago. And it was really, it was full of material. She has blogs daily to weekly, dating from... June 2nd all the way to her latest one was November 9th this year 2011 so I had a good amount of reading to catch up on because I hadn't currently been really into it but once I started reading I couldn't stop but for those of you that didn't see the link on the on the class wall here it is about all the work that she's doing, talking to women's organizations, organizing um, doctors from all over the world, from India, Australia, the United States. It was full of photographs and reflections on her living situation, the family she was living with, the work that she had to do while she was there, like harvesting and actually slaughtering her own animals for food. And through that, she, she also comments on a lot of her personal growth and her insights on personal happiness and faith. And they're very insightful, they're not preachy. And she's basing a lot of it all off of the personal struggles that she's going through. But she mingles the personal reflection along with the professional aspects of the work that she's doing. She provides images of the facts on local economics, local agriculture, um, religion. She gives detailed, um, detailed reports on the political events, political elections, presidential elections, and inf information on the candidates. And there's pictures where she's actually with um, the ex-president of Peru. I believe his name is Toledo. The reason why I'm sharing it with you is because it's, it was more than just a blog. It was kind of uh, a very insightful, personal diary mixed in with a dissertation on third world development. And simultaneously reflecting and informing you. And I 
I just thought it, I guess I felt compelled to report this information to you guys because for someone that doesn't read blogs or do the whole surfing social media kind of thing, except for creeping on pictures and whatnot, I felt compelled to share this with you because I, I was drawn in and read over a year and a half's worth of blogs and saw images that I hadn't seen before. And having it be with someone like my sister, it was it was very interesting to have that kind of manipulation of space and time. As if I I, for, I forget sometimes that she's been gone for a year and a half, and I think that's very interesting. It's as if it's as if I'm there, and it's very comforting at times. So I guess this class has given me a new sort of appreciation for social media. So I guess I have to thank you, as well as my sister, because she did most of the work. But, yeah, I hope you guys check it out.